And welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to Open. You know, uh, we have the Bronx Collaborative High School, and they're, they're talking about a, a, a lot of wonderful things over there. They use unique teaching methods and outside resources to help their students learn in challenging yet fun ways. And joining us now to share more, she's wondering if I'm going to say her name right, but welcome. <laughs> We welcome uh, the founding people, the principal, Brett Schneider, and special ed teacher, Erica <laughs> Jimenez. Right? Did I say it right? It's okay. You <laughs> Erica say Fini. Erica, Erica Fini. 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 Erica Fini. <laughs> Erica Fini. Erica Fini Jimenez. Well, welcome to the show, guys. Thank and you, you have a us. unique way of teaching, us. right? Yes. yes. Because we have to find those unique ways of teaching our students these days. Absolutely. Tell us about how you guys are doing it. Sure. Well, we want to make sure that students are engaged at all times and have a lot of choice. So for us, that means using mm -hmm. real world problems and focusing on making students, supporting them in becoming academic detectives. So not handing them the information, but giving them lots of hands-on experience. So if we're studying the health of water, going to the Bronx River, the Van Cortland Marshes, the mm -hmm. any place where we might be able to take actual water samples and work with the data in English writing plays, in math creating real world models of real world problems like yep. analyzing stop and frisks through a statistical analysis. So hands on. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Hands -on. And people, a lot of students are visual. They want to see it mm -hmm. happening. You know, yeah. uh, and right. then they can use the analytical part of the brain after that. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and it's just not only how they are going to be successful in the classroom, but also outside of the classroom. And that's actually one of the things that attracted me to Bronx Collaborative. I was a para there for two years, and then I became a special education teacher. Mm -hmm. And once I knew that that's what I wanted to do with my life, I knew this is where I wanted to do it. And I'm a product of New York Public Schools, and I know that we need more opportunities for our children. Mm -hmm. we, need, we need to understand that not everyone learns the same way. We need to understand that um, they, success looks different for every child and just to provide those opportunities and at Bronx Collaborative we don't only worry about the success in the classroom but we want them to be active citizens in their society and also want to do better and know their opportunities and the options that are available to them. Yeah, that's important because a lot of times when a student leaves the school there's a whole other world that takes Absolutely. place. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. yes. So you keep them engaged. Yeah, and we try to build in the real world in a couple of key ways. Mm -hmm. Students are able to do an executive internship during senior year where in the field they want to work in or study, they get a hands-on experience interning mm -hmm. at places like this, yes. right, to really gain whatever field they're interested mm -hmm. in. We find ways to match them and work with over 80 organizations to do that all around yeah. the Bronx. And you mentioned taking samples from the Bronx River. Yeah. Yes. And what, they look through a microscope, but what do yeah. they find? Well, our students, you know, one of the things our students do even within our campus is to open up the world of they take Petri dishes and for 12 weeks straight take samples from all over the campus trying to answer what yeah. is the bacterially uh. Uh, dirtiest spot in the campus and <laughs> what do you need to not touch in order to not get sick. And so <laughs> they'll never forget it. And what were those findings? <laughs> so when door come knobs. To this, the door, door knobs. <laughs> door really? knobs and iPads and iPhones. The worst. How the about worst. elevator buttons and everything? Um, pretty bad, but not as bad because not as many people use Get them. It, yeah. Their biggest surprise, however, mm -hmm. bathrooms, not as bad because not of the bad. solvents. Because of all the solvents, they learn some clear lessons about like what gets cleaned and what doesn't. Nobody's wiping those doorknobs clean. Wow. Do they find out what bacteria is on those? I don't want to stick with the doorknob and the... Mm -hmm. Yeah, thing. no, but well, what we do use is we use each opportunity to do deeper research. Yes. So there's a lot of research in writing, creating a presentations, and defending their work. A really unique piece of our school is that we're one of a handful of schools in New York State with a Regents waiver. So we're able to give out a Regents diploma, and instead of using exams, we use grad school style oh, wow. or 15-page uh, papers and oral defense panels. Yeah. So students really have to know their work in English, math, history, science, and foreign language. Mm -hmm. They do these comprehensive papers, then spend an hour defending them to a group of parents, students, and teachers. Sounds like it really opens up the mind, huh? Yes. It challenges yeah. you, yep. Put your mind, put 15 pages on that paper and talk about it. Yeah. And builds up confidence. And we want our we want our kids to not only to also be able to be comfortable expressing themselves. Uh -huh. And we work on them having growing and social emotionally. So every week we have an advisory where they meet with an advisor and they check in on their progress. This mm. this year we're gonna have student led teacher conferences 
where parent teacher conferences where they're gonna students are gonna be able to talk about their grades and about their progress so they're able to just build that confidence that they're gonna need after high school that they're gonna need in college in the real world and it's just it's mm -hmm. important for them to also grow in those areas yeah, and you have something coming up. Is it open house? Yes, yes, we have an open house this Wednesday mm -hmm. and several more. You can find out and register for them at our website or at our Facebook page for Bronx Collaborative. And the open houses are a key way to get to know the school better, see the campus, and meet our current students. Oh, so you're going to just take people around? Yes. We take them around the it's campus. Open. They mm -hmm. interact freely with our current students to hear the real truth uh -huh. from students' voice, and Absolutely. they get involved with the school. Can we see a lot of this on your website? Absolutely. You can see some of it, and the rest we're happy to tour anyone who's interested around the school. All right, thank you guys so much. Thank you. Ara Kafani, <laughs> so I see you. It's not your fault, it's a difficult name. I'm Dominican. Ara <laughs> Kafani. Ara Kafani. Yes. Oh, that's simple enough. Ara Kafani Jimenez. <laughs> Give a big round of applause, everybody. And Brett Schneider. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. You Thank come you. back with some videos and some pictures and everything. And what, what's the date of your, your event, the open house? The open house the is this time. Wednesday mm -hmm. at 6 p.m. And then we have the, in November a couple of Saturday ones at 11 a.m. Oh, maybe we can get uh, some cameras down yeah. there. That'd be great. Definitely. That'd, That'd be, be great. great. Yeah. That'd be yes. great. We'd love to get the word out. I grew up yes. in the North Bronx and had no experience in public education mm -hmm. like this. So I'm glad to share our best kept yeah. secret. Mm -hmm. What's that website again? bxchs.org. Say it slow. www.bxchs.org. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you. No, that's it. Okay. Thank, Thank you, you guys so for much. coming. <laughs> Sounds like yeah. very exciting stuff. Thank Stay you. Stay right there. We have to take a quick break, but uh, coming up next, <laughs> let's take a look at staying healthy this holiday season. You know how we are. Uh,